five. After a one-day delay due to minor problems with a stubborn valve and a strong wind, the huge Delta IV heavy rocket blasted off from Florida's Kennedy Space Center at 7.05 local time, carrying the new Orion capsule, still without a human crew. The flight lasted 4 hours and 24 minutes. The spacecraft orbited the Earth twice before splashing into the Pacific Ocean. At the press conference after the splashdown, NASA's Orion program manager, Mark Gare, said it was hard to have a better day than today. It's a difficult mission. Uh, it's a tough environment to fly through. It's uh, tough objectives that we set for this flight. But uh, it appears uh, that Orion uh, and the uh, Delta IV Heavy were uh, nearly flawless. Great job by the team. Geyer says this is the first system secure enough to carry humans into deep space since Apollo 17, launched in 1972. Orion's elongated orbit took it through the dangerous layer of highly charged subatomic particles called the Van Allen Belt, where NASA engineers tested the spacecraft's resistance to cosmic radiation. Upon re-entry into the atmosphere, the capsule was traveling almost 30 times faster than the speed of sound, while the temperature of its heat shield rose to 2,200 degrees Celsius. The capsule was built by Lockheed Martin. Its Orion program manager, Michael Hawes, says the corporation is already working on the next design and data acquired today will be very valuable. There is an awful lot that is already going, uh, but we'll learn uh, just an enormous amount from what we did today. And when we get all that data back, uh, that will be uh, a, big, a big deal for us. NASA says in the future the Orion capsule will fly on top of a more powerful rocket, the Space Launch System. In 2018, NASA plans to send the spacecraft to circumnavigate the moon, while the first flight with astronauts is planned for 2021. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.